I'll have to say, I something I learned in art school, and I've kind of translated it here, is that I don't consider it much more than just another pencil, pen, brush. It's just another tool for kids to use and learn with. And using it as such, I just try to integrate it as much as I can, like I would art or science or math or any other type of subject. So is it something special? Yeah, it, it relates to kids. Kids find it exciting. But as for being something, it's no silver bullet for education, that's for sure, but it is something kids enjoy and that they like to work with. provides incredible opportunities for differentiating instruction. Uh, most teachers have some students um, who require more concrete expectations, more clear guidelines, and for them we can uh, set up projects in such a way that we provide them with a clear set of expectations. For other students you might give them more open guidelines with uh, more opportunities for creativity and innovation. So as teachers develop more expertise in creating these kinds of projects, you can use a technology to differentiate instruction instruction to meet the diverse needs of different kinds of learners with different sorts of strengths and different sorts of needs. Uh, current controversial issues with regard to the Bill of Rights, um, some Second Amendment issues, um, Fourth Amendment issues, Eighth Amendment issues, and uh, certain students created podcasts. Uh, they researched the topics, uh, created podcasts, uh, recorded them on a program called Audacity, and I then posted these on my uh, my blog, my classroom blog here at school. This activity was uh, designed to have students uh, literally get their voice heard. Uh, I guess the way I designed it, I, I wanted them to really take ownership of every part of this, um, to do the research on their own, um, to record the podcast on their own. It was a pleasant surprise to see that some of the kids went far beyond what I asked them to do. It was kind of nice to when I, when I went home to check my blog and see that kids were still posting at 8.30 on a Wednesday night. Um, doing way more than what was required of them. and um, I kind of like the idea that kids are choosing to comment on the death penalty rather than you know, watching American Idol. Did you know that 2,500 children die each day in Africa from famine? Famine is a huge problem all over Africa, especially in the Horn. Every 3.6 seconds, one kid in Africa dies each second from famine. Kenya and Somalia are the two countries that are most affected by famine. Over 90% of their people are suffering from malnourishment. Didn't you think that one kid in Ohio will eat seven pounds of food a week? Children are dying everywhere in Africa, in the streets, their homes, their beds, but you can help. Please go to www.worldvision.org and donate. Please help us in our quest to stop world famine. Please, you can save a child's life. Every single kid is a gamer. There's really not 
too much else in these kids' lives that's such a, a, a baseline. It's a common experience that every single kid can relate to and I can, can tap into and get something out of from them. Minecraft EDU is an alternate version of Minecraft designed by teachers for teachers to use in a, in a school setting with students and also gives the teachers ways to quickly and easily design activities. In the beginning I started structuring it more saying, you know, we're, we're explorers, we're, we were shipwrecked in this strange land and the, you know, what are the first things we need to do to survive? And they, they, they started saying tools and shelter and I said perfect, now we have a, a goal to, 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 to work towards. Teaching with games in, in the classroom has, has always been fun and, and always just feels like the right thing and the most productive things that, that I do with my time. It's been professionally and personally rewarding for me as well as uh, you know, a, a benefit to my students, at least I hope.